Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of GTA 5 and GTA Online. Did you know? Today, we're going to be taking a look at the major things cut from the game that never returned. The reason I put that never returned there is because a lot of cut content from the initial stages actually has made its way into the game in some way, shape, or form. For instance, the Hydra and the Hunter. Those are two of the biggest vehicles that were cut from the game initially that eventually made their way into online. I think the biggest thing though, was the story DLC. Rockstar took the story DLC that was planned for GTA 5, repurposed it and fit it into GTA Online. And that's what the Doomsday Heist DLC is about. The Doomsday Heist DLC was initially supposed to be somehow related to the story of GTA 5. But with that being said, let's take a look at the cut content that never made its way into the game. So we're going to start with GTA Online. And actually, I will say that while I am, yeah, disappointed that some of the stuff isn't in the game, some of it clearly didn't need to be in the game. And I'm sure after working on GTA for what, five, six, seven, eight years, however long Rockstar worked on it, at a certain point, they were like, all right, we can't add everything we want. So it is understandable that some of the stuff was cut. But again, it also is disappointing that some of the pretty prominent GTA features were cut. But anyway, GTA Online. Basically, the first iteration of GTA Online was cut entirely. Initially, the game was going to be so much different. And I will leave links in the description so you can verify all the stuff if you really want to. But it was supposed to be like a gang war style of content, kind of similar to San Andreas. The game originally let you pick certain factions. You could be the lost MC, the Vagos, or the cops. And one cool thing, if you actually chose to be the police, you could arrest and handcuff other players and you would have different territories you, you would control. I believe there was some sort of drug trafficking system like in GTA Chinatown Wars. So there were some really cool features way back in the first version of GTA Online that never made its way into the game. Now, drug trafficking, we kind of have that with the biker businesses, but back then it would back then it was going to be totally different. Now, as for GTA 5, the single player, and maybe to an extent GTA Online the game was supposed to have way more entertainment in Los Santos. They cut dancing the night away at nightclubs. In the text files, there are some references to a comedy club where players would be able to watch a mocap performance of a comedian. There's actually a comedy club interior that you can spawn in the game. People have also found images and text that imply that you would have been able to be a DJ as well, in addition to dancing in nightclubs. Tequila La was originally open all the time and possibly a functioning club like in The Ballad of Gay Tony. There were 11 more bars that were originally going to be obtainable. There were Bayview, Cafe Rojo, Cockatoos, Eclipse, Fez, High Men, Irish, Les Bianca, or Bianco, Mirror Park, Singletons, and Unbranded. Also, and this is the crazy one, horses were in the game, but they were cut, and there was a huge stadium interior. As far as entertainment, all of that stuff would have made the game way, way more incredible. Some stuff, it's understandable. The 11 more bars, I don't think that's really that important. We obviously are getting nightclubs and possibly even DJing into online, so that's coming back into the game. The comedy club would have been kind of cool to see uh, just what Rockstar would have done with it. Having more interiors like Tequila La would have been incredible. And then the stadium interior plus horses. I mean, I don't need to say anything more, really. Some other smaller things that were cut some mini games air hockey was cut billiards pool was cut basketball was cut burglary missions were cut pimping was cut weightlifting was cut car theft missions were cut and extra towing side missions were cut a lot of stuff there we'll discuss in a second clucking bell burger shot and some of the taco vans you may see around were all originally going to be usable and they would dispense healing food to heal you Players would be able to go through the drive throughs at like the Up and Atom, which you can actually see in the Up and Atom commercial. Uh, and you could order food to heal yourself like I just mentioned. Vigilante missions were removed. This is somewhat in the game, but Rockstar took away a lot of the features. Police, though, 
could arrest people in different ways. They would use the baton, they would use the stun gun uh, as a non-lethal way of arresting people. There was also going to be a casino heist. And then one really cool feature that was cut, a preview said that if you entered certain houses in the Rockford Hills area, you would gain a wanted level as there would be a security system that could detect you when an armed response would arrive. Obviously, that never saw the light of day. So all of those mini games, those are the things I really, really wish they would bring back into the game. At least some of them. Basketball would be awesome. Pool, air hockey would be awesome. Little missions like the burglary missions or the car theft missions or even the vigilante missions. I mean, those things I loved about the past GTA games. And I was sad to obviously not see them in GTA 5. Some little things like weightlifting. I mean, that was something in San Andreas. And imagine that in online. You go around the city and you see some dude freaking buff jacked out of his mind. You know he's been working out. And you know, at least if you're going uh, into some sort of melee battle with him, you might not want to battle him because the dude probably will knock you out. Where if you see some little skinny scrawny guy, you could go up and take him down really easily. As for the fast food places being used to heal, I'm not entirely sure if I like that idea. Uh, just because I feel like that would be a little bit more annoying than not. But not having them at all is unfortunate because back in GTA 4, I mean, going in to these places was just, it was nice. Like, it's not game breaking, but it was just nice to be able to go into the fast food place and, and get food. The big one, the casino heist, I think that was a given. We all sort of knew at one point, and that's why they have an opening soon sign on the casino. But that's probably never going to happen. One of the, the really cool features that I didn't know about before all this was the security system in people's houses. If they would have added that with the burglary missions or the car theft missions, that could lead to some really cool gameplay instances, you know? You actually have to strategize and plan for breaking into people's houses or for completing those missions. But that is most of the major things cut from the game that never returned I, I'm sure I missed a few other things. Again, in the description, you can check out some articles that go over pretty much everything that was cut from the game. And it's it's kind of unfortunate reading through, seeing what Rockstar decided not to end up putting into the game. But maybe since it seems Rockstar are continuing their GTA Online DLCs, we'll get some more of this cut content over the course of the game's life cycle. Let me know in the comment section, out of all of the things I mentioned, if you had to pick like a few things that you really, really wish was in the game, what would those things be? Anyway, that is it for this week's episode of GTA Online or GTA 5. Did you know? Hopefully you didn't know about a lot of these things cut from the game. As always, please drop a video like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for these episodes every single Saturday. And since that's going to do it for me, I will see you guys in the next one.